So, here we go, Loz. Welcome to the bunker. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, you get the second guy in here. We've already had James Beach Brilliant. in here. Um, and he showed us a, a few things. But I want to do a pop quiz with you, if that's okay. all right. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. So, dive into it. A bunch of questions, all arm wrestling related. We're going to start doing this with all the arm wrestlers that, that visit the bunker. So, you can expand on these or you can just give me one word answers. It's up to you. But, hook, top roll, press. Top roll. Plot wrist, king's move. Ooh, king's move. <laughs> strap, no strap. No strap. <laughs> Absolutely, after, after the last event. <laughs> I need practice in that strap for sure. We'll, we'll get into that yeah. after this. So we'll do this pop quiz and then we'll, do, uh, we'll get into some of this in a little bit more depth. Leg days. Of course, I'm, a, I'm all about the leg days. My strengths don't correlate to arm wrestling. <laughs> uh, but they, they also say that do, doing leg days anyway, even just for arm wrestlers who don't do it, it's, it's good for your testosterone and everything else. So it's, 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 it's good for, for squeeze. Well, if you don't want to get into trousers too easily, that's also <laughs> useful. Yeah, but you have more trouble than more. <laughs> um, tournaments or super matches? Well, so far I've only had experience of super matches, mm -hmm. but um, I want to do some tournaments. Yeah. Um, I think from a fan's point of view, super matches though. So you prefer watching them, but you, you just want to get that taste. Yeah, I, I want to I compete in like everything. So yeah, yeah I just want to get stuck in, do some tournaments. Get him up, guys, it's king. Do it's some king. super matches, but yeah, from a fan's point of view, I obviously like watching the super matches. Favourite arm wrestler? <sighs> Probably Devon, Devon Larratt. He's just... You know, he's entertaining. He's kind of probably the first arm wrestler I really took notice of. Um, met him a number of times now and completely different off the table to how he is on the table. And I think just the fact that he, he's done so much for the sport, yeah. Nice. Um, least favourite arm wrestler? Oh, <laughs> I, I don't have a least favourite arm wrestler. So, Mate. so in that case, it's Min Dalgas <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um... Proudest arm wrestling moment? That's a, a tough one for me to answer. Mm. I've only done one super match um, and I loved it. Which was the best? James, are you? John? The, maybe the best John, just because I was absolutely exhausted at that point and I think he was getting a bit cocky. So yeah. it was nice to, to get. You look like you're really enjoying yourself by that point. And um, John, he's got his eyes on you. Uh, what's your short term and long term goals? Uh, long term, I, long term is the same as the short term, to be honest. I want to keep improving. I, I literally, everyone's like expecting me to go on and say I want to be a world champion and stuff like that. And I've had a whole career um, being successful in strongman. I just genuinely love training and arm wrestling has kind of made me passionate about going to the gym again. So every week I'm at the arm wrestling club, I'm doing arm wrestling well, training. Do, do, do you think that is because of, it's the one-on-one it's -on -one combat? It's not you against a piece of kit. Maybe, you know, I come from a, a comp like a combat sport history. So I was British champion at Kung Fu as a junior. Um, so that kind of side of the things I, I find quite interesting. But I'm just someone that needs something to train for. If I'm not training for something, I'm going to get bored. And right now, I'm doing a powerlifting comp this weekend. I've got some master strongman comps coming up, and I want to get stuck into some arm wrestling tournaments as well. So, you know, there's no great ambition in terms of where I end up. My focus is to keep improving, and that's that. You know, I'll, I'll kind of take Devon's kind of no limits um, quote, marker. yeah, marker, and. You know, I don't want to put any kind of top end goals out there, but I do want to keep improving. And that's always the goal is just keep getting better. So no long term goals yet? Not you as far. Keep just, the water. Yeah, just keep kind of, you know, keep getting better. It's, yeah. it's as simple as that. If I won a British championship, that would be pretty cool because I've been a British champion in um, powerlifting, strongman and kung fu. So if I could do it in arm wrestling as well, that would be cool. Yes. Yeah. Make it a, a quadruple of um, British champions. <laughs> um, Rest or active recovery? These days, active recovery. I used to kind of think, oh, rest was better, but these days I like training and just moving every day. I find movement has been really beneficial. For someone that's had a lot of injuries, I find sitting around doing nothing is less beneficial. So, active recovery for me all the time. Blood flow, blood flow all day. Uh, trash talk or good sportsmanship? Depends who you're up against. Um, I, I guess, 
But this doesn't have to necessarily be you. Yeah. It might be what you enjoy. I, I enjoy trash talk. If, if someone's kind of good at it, yeah. then I enjoy it. If someone feels like they're faking it, I think it's obvious. And I think if I did it, it would come across as fake. But when you watch people that are just naturally good at it, I find it really entertaining, especially when they back it up. Too much of a nice guy, Lord. Um <laughs> When you come to the table, do you test? Are you testing yourself, or are you fighting your opponent? Always testing myself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been my approach through my whole sporting career. It's all about me improving. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it doesn't matter who I'm up against. It's and arm wrestling is weird because everyone feels different. I can arm wrestle someone, beat them quite easily. They can arm wrestle someone else that they'll beat, and that guy will beat me. So it's very, very strange of arm wrestling. So arm it's always math, yeah, yeah, it's always testing yourself and trying to improve. Nice. Um, strength, speed, technique, stamina. What's more, what what is most important? Uh, Lastly, put them in order. Strength, I, I think, speed, technique, stamina. I think strength is is really important at the, the top level. Um, but without all the other elements as well, you're never going to make it as a top arm wrestler. So. You know, I think once you've learned technique, then strength becomes more important. Whereas, you know, you can have the greatest technique in the world, but if you're not strong, you're never going to challenge the top guys. And then endurance, you know, big factor. If you're in a tournament, you've got a lot of matches through the day or a super match, they're, they're all important factors. And I, it's hard to kind of rate which one's the most important, but I'm a strong man, so strength, obviously. <laughs> nice. uh, oh, I've lost my page. So, rate yourself. One being absolute beginner, 10 being your final form, whether you've already had it before or not. Obviously for you, your final form is in the future. Yep. Um, strength, speed, technique, stamina. Okay. Strength, I would say in terms of arm wrestling sp specific, maybe five or six. Uh, technique, two. <laughs> um, endurance, two. <laughs> That's kind of, uh, endurance is not my, my game. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? Speed. 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 Three. Uh, I need to get quicker at all these things. I, I see myself very as very much, was... very much novice at the moment in arm wrestling. Okay. I, I think you've been very modest there. So there you go. There's the pop quiz. Ready, go! Here we go! Here we go!